Hi folks, William Stillman, Psychic Medium. I am back in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania, and it is a particularly momentous occasion because today is November 11th, and that is also Veterans Day. And I am honored to be in the presence of Major Ronald Roberts. So Ron, thank you for your service. Thank you. To our country, and I am appreciative of your joining us here today and I'll let Ron introduce himself in just a moment but as before I want to thank everyone who has been watching my videos and I appreciate all the terrific comments and the validations that people have made for me and also as always and as before I have no idea where we'll be going today Ron is the keeper of all of that information and so Ron I will be at your mercy <laughs> with respect to um, the various sites that you plan on taking us today. But as always, it is never dull. So I'll let you tell about yourself if you wish. Thank you, Bill, I appreciate it. I'm, I'm Major Ron Roberts of the United States Army. I am presently teaching leadership courses at the United States Military Academy. And I'm particularly honored to be here with, with Bill today on this wonderful Veterans Day. I have, uh, I would call myself a student of the Civil War, even though I have edited a book and published a few articles so I'm I'm particularly excited to Very be able nice. to add value wherever I can terrific thank you so much we're at a new location Ron tells me this is not connected to the Civil War but he I have to trust that he has his reasons for bringing us here and as we were getting out of the car just as a um, sidebar I had mentioned to Ron that I got the name Warren W A R R E N, and yes. you said that that was a, a, the name of a significant general, but not someone, to your knowledge, connected to the area where we are. That's currently. correct. Okay. That's correct. So just for the record, I just wanted to put that out there. <laughs> but it looks like we're approaching a bridge, yeah. and I have been saying as we're walking through here that it felt to me as though this was sort of a forbidden after-hours teen, teen hangout, where maybe kids came back here to drink and smoke, and then. Um, Erica, our sound gal, said, well, there's beer, there were a lot of beer cans. I said, well, there's my validation. <laughs> right there. That was perfect. <laughs> um, I, I do have to tell you that as we're approaching the bridge, I'm seeing the word trepidation, and I'm feeling a bit uneasy about it. Okay. Would that make sense to you? Yes. I don't know, oh boy. To your knowledge, was there um, a suicide connected to this spot? Yes. Um, I'm also wondering if someone hanged themselves. Um, on or near the bridge. Yes. And I've never, I have to tell folks, I, I've never been here before. I have no idea where we are. All I know is that this is um, more of a modern location, not connected to the Civil War. Correct. Okay. Oh boy. There's such a heaviness. I don't know how many yards we are from the bridge itself, but I'm feeling such a heaviness here already. And I actually want to go so far as to suggest that this has become known as a haunted location. Correct. Absolutely. Well, correct. we'll see how close I can get. I am starting to feel a little bit weak in the knees. Of course. Mm -hmm. Is there a, um, a, a young woman that was killed here, to your knowledge? We'll have to look into that. I, it would not surprise me at all. This has that reputation. Oh boy. Uh, for anyone who has seen the video that I did uh, a couple of years ago uh, about the Sachs Covered Bridge, what I was feeling that day, I'm feeling now. I'm feeling um, a, a sense of foreboding and gloom physically I'm feeling a little bit lightheaded. Um, I'm feeling weak in the knees, and um, I I feel a sense of great tragedy. 
connected to this spot. Yes. If that would make sense yes. to you. Yes. Uh, yes. So I'm going to stand by what I said earlier in that it feels as though there are maybe kids that come out here that are perhaps thrill seekers uh, because it has a reputation. This spot has a reputation. Absolutely right. I actually feel as though we are in this moment being watched from the trees. That we are under surveillance right now. <clears throat> so I want to um, maintain a healthy distance and a, a respect. Um, oh my goodness, there's such a heaviness here, Ron. <clears throat> I'm actually hearing a gunshot ring out as well. Are you? Would that make sense? It could. It certainly could. So the, it feels to me as though there's more than one inc incident Correct. that occurred here. For whatever reason, like the Saks Bridge after dark, this place feels to me as though it's a, a, a magnet of sorts. Correct. All that is correct. I have to ask if there was a murder here. I, I believe so. Because I'm feeling someone trying to, trying to choke me. I feel like I'm being strangled. Wow. This spot has a very sordid history. Yes. And I feel as though that will continue to begat itself. It will continue to perpetuate because there's such a density here that it will attract to it like energy. I don't know if I can go up on the bridge. My head's starting to throb. Ooh, this is not a nice place. <laughs> you threw me a curveball. <laughs> sorry. This is not a, a pleasant place to be. I'm sorry. I want to tell you that. Oh my gosh. Uh, this is crazy, but it, it almost feels as though there were animals that were tortured or maimed or sacrificed here in something that was ritualistic. Do you know anything about that? I don't. At all? I don't. Oh, gosh. Let me see if I can walk out a little bit onto the bridge and we'll see if I'm getting anything more. I almost want to say there's something that feels cultish about this spot. I don't know if it, it, I'm being shown the Ku Klux Klan. I don't know if it's that or if it's some similar group of people that would use this as a meetup site. Is this making any sense to you? It's possible. In terms of the history of this, certainly possible, this, yes. this space? Yes. And is it also possible that someone was deliberately lynched here? It is possible. Well, there was definitely bloodshed here. It's not as heavy or intense as the Saks Bridge, but it has a similar reputation, I want to say, if that would make sense to you. definitely feels like we're under surveillance. I feel like I'm not supposed to, I feel like I'm trespassing that I'm not supposed to be here. Right. <laughs> and like the Saks Bridge, I'd be willing to bet that that overall atmosphere of foreboding intensifies after dark. Yes. I'd also be willing to bet that people have seen um, unusual lights out here. You're familiar with stories of that? I am, yes. And also some sort of phantom, some sort of dark shape at the other end of the bridge. Do you know anything about that? Yes. Okay, well, I think I've gone as far as I want to. <laughs> 
So if someone wasn't lynched or if someone hadn't hanged themselves here, then I want to say that it feels as though there was a symbolic effigy that would have been hanged here. Do you know anything about that? I don't. Okay. I don't. Like the Saks Bridge, it also feels to me as though this is a popular spot around Halloween time. I would be willing to bet. All the time. It also feels to me as though this is a popular spot for paranormal investigators, and I would be willing to bet that they have recorded out here um, voices, Correct. disembodied voices. Correct. And also disembodied voices that are angry, agitated, uh, that are saying, get out, get away from here. Do you have knowledge of this? I do. Yes. Yes. All right. Well. I'll turn it over to you then if you want to debrief us. Yeah, this is this is Eisenhower, John Eisenhower Bridge. It was built in 1886, and it is it has a reputation. Uh, the the slang term for this bridge is suicide bridge. And there, oh my gosh! It was uh, why is that? Because of suicides that have taken place. And didn't it, that was one of the first things I said? That I is believe. one of the first things you said. Yes. Oh my lord! So it is. Other than that, we don't know a lot, but it's a, it's very popular for people, you said teenage hangout, yes, we definitely can see that. Uh, it is a, a very popular paranormal place. There is an entity yes. that inhabits yes. the bridge uh, at, the, at, at the other at end, the far end. Thank sometimes you. underneath the bridge. And that's that's all we know. Okay. But we picked up on, all right. for never, for knowing nothing about this place and never being here before, I'd say you, 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 you got it. Okay. Well, I'm ready to get off the bridge. <laughs> Thank you, Ron.